That harrowing account we're getting from inside the siege on Capitol Hill from Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez speaking out on Instagram Live last night detailing the traumatic experience. Our congressional correspondent Rachel Scott is in Washington for us with more. Rachel, good morning. TJ, good morning. Up until now, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has not gone into full detail about what happened here on January 6th, but now she's opening up about the moments she feared for her life. I mean, I thought I was going to die. Overnight, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez detailing her terrifying experience during the Capitol insurrection for the first time, sharing the harrowing moments she thought might be her last. And I'm fully expecting um, one of these insurrectionists to turn the corner with a gun. In the Instagram Live video that has now racked up over 1.5 million views, Ocasio-Cortez describes hearing a loud banging on her office door taking cover in the bathroom. I have never been quieter in my entire life. I felt that um, if this was the journey that my life was taking, that I felt that things were going to be okay. Um, um, and that, you know, I had fulfilled my purpose. The pounding at the door turned out to be a Capitol Police officer instructing her to flee. After running to another building, she found Congresswoman Katie Porter. The two barricaded themselves in her office, along with members of their staff, for hours. And I didn't feel like I was okay or, you know, secure in any way at any point. Ocasio-Cortez comparing that day to another past trauma, revealing she is also a survivor of sexual assault. And I haven't told many people that in my life, um, but... When we go through trauma, trauma compounds on each other. And TJ, she says she is opening up now because she believes there needs to be accountability. TJ. And speaking of accountability, there's pressure mounting on Republicans to do something about Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene for seeming to endorse violence against Democrats and also endorsing conspiracy theories. Yeah, TJ, and we now have a blistering statement from Republican leader Mitch McConnell saying loony lies and conspiracy theories are cancer for the Republican Party and for our country. But Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has been defiant. She says she will not back down or apologize. And right now it is unclear if any action will be taken against her for her past comments. TJ. We shall see. Rachel Scott, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.